Hello everybody, this is Gary. Today is January 10th, 2023. It is 2.28 p.m. Eastern Standard Time in the United States in Rochester, New York. And this is my Coping with Schizophrenia blog entry for today. Um, today I'm doing okay, better than yesterday. I did my physical therapy and walking exercises. Um, I went shopping for food. Um, did some work on my computer. I do consumer surveys online for extra money. I'm at clearvoicesurveys.com, surveyjunkie.com, and yougov.com. Um, I did some meditation twice today, and I'll do some meditation later. Um, I'm making this video as part of my daily schedule. Today is Tuesday, and on Thursday, I have an appointment with my peer support specialist. That's somebody who has a mental health diagnosis, who works on staff as a counselor at the clinic that I go to, the mental health clinic that I attend. I'm seeing my therapist next week, and I just saw my psychiatrist last week. We made no changes to my medications. I'm on all the same medications I was on before, the Seroquel, Zyprexa, Clonopin, Cymbalta, and a few others. Um, I'm seeing my primary care provider in a couple of months. There's nothing going on medically that I need to be seen for right away. So I'm just going to go ahead and keep that appointment when it comes. I believe it's in March or April, maybe February. I'm not sure. I would have to check my schedule. Um, but I do try to keep all the appointments I have, whether they're with my peer support specialist, my psychotherapist, my psychiatrist, my medical primary care provider, or specialist appointments like urology and um, uh, gastroenterology and you know uh, ophthalmology, whatever the specialty is, I try to keep all of those appointments um, because keeping up my physical health is just as important as keeping up my mental health. And keeping up my mental health helps keep up my medical health. Um, so, weather has been pretty mild in Rochester. We haven't had any really big snowfall since winter started. Today is um, January 10th and there's no snow on the ground. Buffalo got hit by a huge storm around Christmas. They got up to seven feet of snow and that's only a couple hours away. But Rochester pretty much got spared that mess so far anyways. Um, I suspect we'll get a snowstorm really bad sooner or later. Um, probably sooner than later. Um, the weather always makes it more difficult for some people with mental illness, whether that's schizoaffective disorder, schizophrenia, depression, anxiety, um, personality disorder, whatever. Um, and also the weather tends to aggravate my auditory hallucinations, my depression, my anxiety, my paranoia, my delusions, my hallucinations. Um, today it's not so bad. Um, I was able to go food shopping. I don't have a car, so I have to walk to the store to go food shopping and I bring a cart with me so I don't have to carry anything. Um, but it's sometimes it's hard to drag that cart through the snow once it does start snowing because, like I said before, it really hasn't yet here in Rochester. Um, but once it does, it always makes doing things outside a little bit more difficult. Um, my physical pain tends to get worse during the winter. I had surgery on my right knee, which is still still healing after uh, months of be the surgery being over with. I had the surgery on May 13th of this, or actually May 13th of last year, and the knee still hurts, and the cold weather makes it hurt even more. But that's why I have to do the physical therapy and walking exercises is to strengthen my knee and make the pain less severe. Not exercising it is not a choice. Um, that's not an option. Um, and also, when the cold weather is out there, it aggravates the arthritis in my upper and lower back and in some of my joints. Um, but uh, I also do physical therapy exercises for my lower back because I have a damaged uh, 
disc at the very bottom of my spine. Um, but the spinal surgeon doesn't want to do surgery. Well, I don't want to have to go through back surgery. Um, I'd rather not do that. So um, as long as it's not causing any problems, surgery would be unnecessary. And I've already gone through three surgeries in the past two years. I don't want to go through any more if I don't have to. Um, but uh, that's all for now. Like, comment, share, subscribe.